So we're going to have a conversation about the flower because the flower brings in a couple of different layers of things that you got to worry about, but it's very doable. And we're going to build a procedure called draw flower. So um, just so that I remember what I'm doing, you can do this last, but I'll do it first, is I'm going to put in a procedure called draw flower, and I'll do it for 100. So I'll do a flower of 100. Now, if you remember, when we looked at the flower, the flower had these squares. They spun around, and then they also changed colors. So we have a couple of things we got to do right now, right? Let's take a look at how we're going to do that. First of all, we have to have our square 100 going on, but then we have to turn it a little bit. So what's going to happen is I'm going to actually have to have this, if you look, this, sorry, where is it? This, and I'll make this a little bit larger, see if I can make this uh, bigger for you. Sorry. See, I can make that a little bigger. This is squares, and what happened was they drew a square, and they turned it a little to the right. They drew a square, they turned it a little to the right. They drew a square, turned it a little to the right. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six times four. There's actually 24 of these things going around. Hmm, I wonder what the 24 of those things are. Well, that's pretty interesting. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go grab another loop. And I'm going to say that if I pull in my square 100, right, put it in there, I go ahead and I hit reset, all right, blank screen, and I go draw 100, there we go, right? Now, what if I did draw 100 and then I did turn? Let's say I did turn by, let's just say 10 degrees. And then I did draw 100, square 100 again. Watch what would happen. I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna hit draw. And look what I got. I got two. Interesting. And what if I did that again? Duplicate. And I did that again. I'm going to hit reset. You see my reset, right? And then I'm going to hit draw. And I get three of them. Mmm, this is getting interesting. Well, do a quick bit of math. Let me pull up my calculator. If you don't know how to do this, you just go right here and you type in calculator. And you get the calculator app, right? And we know it's 360. And we know we're turning at 10 degrees. So 360 divided by 10. I should do this 36 times. So what did I just do? I'm going to move that to the side. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab another loop. And I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to do this 36 times. 36 times. And what am I going to do? I'm going to actually draw a square 100. And then I'm going to draw a turn of 10 degrees. So and I'll draw a square of 100, turn it 10 degrees. Draw a square 100, turn it 10 degrees. And how many times is it going to do it? You can do it 36 times. So I'm going to reset. Hang on, I'm going to reset. See that I've reset, right? I'm going to hit draw, and it waits. But what happened? Oh, of course, because I didn't change it. I turned it 10 degrees. I made a mistake. Let's reset that. Here we go. I'm going to hit draw. And look what it did. Oops, sorry. There it is. It drew it again. So let's try it again. Reset. Draw. And you notice it hesitated. Why did it hesitate? It hesitated because I'm actually asking it to do a lot of computing. I'm asking it to do a lot of drawing. And then just for uh, kicks and giggles, one of the things I like to do is I like to actually hide the turtle. So we don't have the little thing at the end where the turtle is hiding. So I'm going to hit reset. I'm going to click draw. And it draws it, and then it hides the turtle. So now, I have that. So far, so good. And I could put this right in here, and I could go draw 100, draw flower 100, and it'll still work, right? Because I've now called the procedure. Let me get this out of the way. I've called the procedure, 
draw flower 100 reset draw here we go and it draws it for me it's flower 100 but the difference is that's a flower of 100 and this has colors well there is a procedure in there and it was written in your direction so if you look in there is some directions um if you look on the logo it actually tells you how to do this it says use this canvas paint color property and use get random color so what's going to happen is there's a couple of things to look for one of them is canvas and then there's set paint color so canvas set paint color is in here so i'm just going to pull this in and i'll go to paint, paint color set canvas paint color right in here and they gave us a procedure and the procedure they gave us was called get random color sorry i had a little jump and rooney there didn't mean to get random really don't be like that be doing that to me now that's what i wanted don't be jumping around on me here we go and i throw it right in here and now what's going to happen is we get all this mess out of the way so it's easier to read clean this up right look at what i have 36 times it draws a square of 100 it turns 10 degrees it sets the canvas paint color to a random color i hit reset i click draw and there it goes and i have a multicolored flower that's kind of cool so that's how you do the multicolor now your challenge and the one i'm not going to help you with is First, you had to do the circle for five. Now, you're going to have to do the circle, and then you're going to have to do the spiral. I'll give you a little hint. If you can do the circle, and you can do the trick I just did, you can do the spiral. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.